What can you tell us about these developments? Well, Colette, I suppose as one resident dubbed it to Virgin Media News in the last hour or so, this is good news, but not necessarily great news. It's been a very difficult few days for the Ukrainian refugees living at the Crown Plaza here in Dundalk. Um, we've been here since 8 o'clock this morning. We were talking to some people who were leaving to go to work. Others were children leaving to go to school. Some of them had Christmas exams in local secondary schools, and they effectively didn't know what was going to happen. And I suppose you can see these pictures now of when the news began to filter through a town o'clock this morning that the transfer is where it's be cancelled. A little bit of background to this, Colette. So on Friday evening, the group of Ukrainian refugees, many of them here since March, a lot of them from areas such as Kharkiv and Irpin, they were told that they were going to be transferred around the country on Monday morning. That's despite the fact that many of the children are in local schools. Many of the adults are working locally. Some children and adults had therapy appointments booked locally as well. If they've only recently been appointed, all that was effectively going to be scrapped with less than three days' notice. So we've been talking to some of the residents this morning morning, Colette, after they got that good news, that there will be a two-week reprieve and they will be able to stay here at least for the Christmas and the New Year period. Are we feeling like a great uh, victory for us, for all our children? It feels like a miracle, yeah, for us. <laughs> yeah, it's a Christmas miracle. My wife is a disability person and I am happy because we will stay here, grateful to you and as, as the Irish people who help us to stay here. So many of them had decorated the rooms here with Christmas lights and decorations. Colette, they're happy that they will be able to celebrate it. But of course, this is a two-week reprieve. That is what we've been told by today by the Department for Children, Equality, Disability, Integration and Youth. They say that it does. they will re-examine then the accommodation situation in two weeks' time. That the situation and the system does remain under quite a lot of pressure. And figures released by the Central Statistics Office this morning show that close to 70,000 Ukrainian refugees have now arrived into Ireland. That's some total of 67,448 having arrived by the 11th of December. So very much a situation under pressure and a system under pressure, Colette. And here today, an example of how that affects people who have arrived into the country.